An Olympian from Clovis finally able to race on the world stage. Katie Tannenbaum, who competes for the U.S. Virgin Islands Olympic team in skeleton racing, finally got her chance to compete yesterday after being in isolation for COVID. Our Catherine Phillips has more on the unexpected twists and turns in her journey. Her family says it's been nerve wracking waiting for Katie to get out of quarantine and not knowing if she was going to be able to race. Now, finally, last night she was able to compete. She's a adrenaline junkie, so when she saw a skeleton, she goes, that's it. That's what I want to do. Peter and Sally Tannenbaum have been watching their daughter Katie train for the Olympics in the sport of skeleton for years. The Central Valley native graduated from Clovis West High School, but didn't pick up skeleton, the ultra high speed sledding sport until 2011. And after a decade of training, she finally qualified for the Beijing Games. And while she initially tested negative for COVID when she got on the plane to the games, eventually she got a positive result back. About three days in, she tested positive. And so then she had to go into quarantine for about eight days. Her mother says the entire time Katie was in isolation, she was asymptomatic. But due to the Olympic strict protocols in Beijing, she had to stay in isolation until she got a negative test. So it was it was scary because we didn't know if she'd get out in time to compete. She even missed out on being the flag bearer for the U.S. Virgin Islands team, where she lives now, because of the positive test. But just one day before her event, she tested negative and was allowed to compete. Her parents say not being able to get that much practice in before the race was a disadvantage, but say she's glad Katie got to race. Don't get hurt. That's what's going through your mind. <laughs> yeah. Just. You know, doesn't matter where you finish, just don't get hurt. <laughs> Tannenbaum is in another heat tomorrow and will race again then. Reporting in the studio, Catherine Phillips, KC24, local news that matters.